Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about Ableton shortcuts. Um, to be very specific, we're going to talk about a list of essential shortcuts that allows you to be really fast on your songwriting, music making. Uh, because, you know, when you're writing music, you're sometimes wasting time on uh, opening windows, click with the mouse here and there, and that can ruin your flow and also, you know, waste a little bit of minutes. So with this in mind, let's have a look. Shift and space plays from where it stops. So you're playing your track and you stop it right here. If you want to carry on playing from where it stops, you hold shift and you press space and it plays from where it stops, basically. Because if you just play press without shift, it's going back from the first point where you have selected previously. So shift and space plays from where it stops and it's very useful for that. Shift and tab toggles between the MIDI or audio clip and the effect. So I have here the MIDI clip and usually when you want to check the effect, you click on here. Well, you can do this by pressing shift and tab. You toggle between the MIDI and the effect and the same things with the audio, MIDI and effect. Very useful. Well, this one is very easy. It's tab, the control between switching the live session and the arrangement section tab, very easily. Okay, so this one is a bit different. Hold the shift button and then with the mouse wheel, you scroll right or left. So you are scrolling between the effect. You can do the same things in the audio clip and you can do the same things in the MIDI clip as well. So, you know, otherwise what you have to do without this button is with the mouse, go here, and it's a bit pain in the ass. Command A, this is very useful. Command A selects everything. So if you want to delete all your track, Command A, you can delete it, but I don't think that everybody wants to delete their track. Uh, also Command A, you can collapse and resize all the channel together. So you choose one channel, Command and A, and you can collapse them or open them back and they are all the same sides. Same things can be applied on the live session as well. Um, so look here how much untidiness. So choose one, Command A, resize all of them, and then open them back and they are all nice at the same level. Same things with the return. Choose one, Command and A, resize all of them, open them back and they are nice and tight. And also Command and A, for example, I'm playing my track here and I can see the volume is not very loud. I want to raise the volume of all of them at the same time, but what can I do? So I choose Command and A, and I can rise all the volume at the same time, equally. Command Shift W, open a new Ableton window. Um, so this is very useful if you have a second monitor, but if you don't have a second monitor, you can do one thing, so look at this. So you can resize the first window, then you take the second monitor, the second, uh, Ableton window, and you just put it here. So, well, maybe you can just put it a little bit like this to have more room. And you can use this one as a master meter so that you can monitor how much uh, output you have your track on the left-hand side. So when you double-click on any knobs, you reset them to zero. To f well, not always to zero, but to where was the initial position of any knob. So for example, here, zero. zero. This was not, not on zero, but it was set up on one when it was created. So when you double click, and by the way, I have made a tutorial called Mutant Drum. You can check that here, uh, where I talk about this technique of um, double clicking the knob in order to create uh, and modify sound design on your drum. So check that out. So Command and F opens a window here where you can say search all the result. So here's the thing. On the left column of Ableton Live, you can customize it using and adding all the personal folder of your hard drive. In my case, I have shit loads. So when I, you know, let's go back to audio effect and you know, I'm doing a track and I'm like, okay, I need a snare. I just press Command and F, and is going to search within all those folders here as an air. 
And the result, as you can see, it's immense. Uh, so Command and F, it's very useful to search anything really quickly on within all the personal folder that you added here. Number zero. So number zero has many functions. You can use number zero to mute the channel and reactivate, or you can switch off any effect or also instruments. Very useful. You can select all the channels, switch them off all at the same time. You can select all the effects, switch them off at the same time. So zero is the number. Command and L. So Command and L loop the area selected. You can choose this clip here. You press Command and L and it's looping it. So very fast and very effective. Command and D. So Command and D duplicate anything. Can duplicate also the MIDI notes in the grid. So the command and D, it's the duplicate button per standard. Command, Shift, and D duplicates the area selected, but also insert the time. So in my case, I want to duplicate this one here, but I, I want still the space that is here. So in this case, I will do Command, Shift, and D. So I'm adding this area, but it's also keeping the time, which means it's inserting the time when it's duplicating. Command and U quantize automatically. So I choose all of them and I do Command and U is quantizing automatically to the last settings that you put on the quantization window. Command, Shift and U open the quantization window and obviously you can select any value of quantization and then you press OK. Shift and arrow up and arrow down keys. So I select this part and I want to play it. So I want to go octave down. I hold shift and I press the key down or key up. So, and it's basically moving one octave down and one octave up. If you don't use the hold shift, and you use just the normal up and down key, you can just transpose them of one semiton. Command R, rename things. So you can rename the MIDI clip, you can rename the audio clip, and if you want to rename all of them much faster, you just do one, you call it name one, then you press tab, name two, press tab, name three, press tab, name four. So every time you press tab, it's jumping to the next channel below. Command option F, create fades between audio clips. So I have to do those clips here. I just select the area and I clip them. Very useful. Then probably one of the most easy, command T, inserting audio track, command shift T, inserting MIDI track. Okay, this one depends of what type of keyboard you are using. Function, hold function and press F1, F2, F3, F4, 5, 6, 7, 8, mute from 1 to 8 channel. Very useful when you are playing live. Uh, then again, if you have a different keyboard, you might not have to press and hold the function key, but in my case, I have to. Otherwise, you can just use from F1 to F8, you can uh, mute the audio channel. Holding command while moving a audio or MIDI clip. So I have a grid here. If I want to move this one without the grid, I hold command and the grid disappear. If I don't hold command, it will not disappear just when I hold command. And it works also on the opposite. So if the grid is off, and I want to move this with the grid, I hold command and the grid magically reappear. Command I, insert silence. So let's say I have this break here and I want to have it doubled. So I select the empty area and I press command E. It's adding the same amount of silence so that I can work on this one. This is very useful for songwriting. Command Z. Undo. So by accident, I delete this. 
uh, Command Z, undo. If you want to redo, Command Shift Z. So undo, redo, undo, redo. Sounds like a song. Um, then Command S, save the project. So rather than going here and click, just Command S and save the project automatically. Now we're passing to the single letters. So letter B, as you can see here, it switches to the pen. So you can use it here when you are working on MIDI and it's empty. You want to write some notes, press B and you can write the notes. Press B again and you are switched to the mouse. Press B, switch the note. Press B again, switch to the mouse. Um, so basically with the introduction of Ableton 10, we have now H and W. H is for height and W is for width. Um, very useful. You can use them in the letters as well. So I press letter H, I press letter V, W, sorry, and the same basically. And lastly, you unfold the tracks. So I have here a group within a group and also I have a group here. If I want to open those groups, I just press highlight them and I press letter U. It's unfolding all of them at the same time. So yeah, those one were the most essential shortcuts that is going to help you on your songwriting technique. And uh, by the way, I've created a list. I created the, the PDF document where you can download all those shortcuts and the link is in the description and uh, you can download it, open it on your computer, put it on your screen server. You can even print it out and place it in your bedroom wall so that you can recite this as a mantra every time you wake up in the morning. And again, thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel so that I can make more content like this and uh, see you on the next one.